John Stephen Gardner. On January 15, the state of Texas executed its first death row inmate this year. John Stephen Gardner was sentenced to death for the murder of his second wife, 41-year-old Tammy Gardner. On January 23, 2005, in the city of Anna, Gardner entered the residence of his victim. She had recently filed for divorce and Gardner couldn't take it. During an altercation, Tammy was shot in the head. Though profusely bleeding, she was able to call 911 and tell the dispatcher it was her husband who shot her. Tammy was transported to an hospital but died three days later from her injuries. On the same day, Gardner was arrested in Mississippi, Texas. But this wasn't Gardner's first killing. In 1983, he shot his first wife, 18-year-old Rhoda. The young girl was pregnant. I only found a prison record about Gardner, listing his conviction for aggravated assault, for which he served eight years behind bars. But he was tried and convicted for the murder of Rhoda and somehow convinced the jury he wasn't a danger to society. He eventually got parole. As we know he didn't get the same lucky for the murder of his second wife Tammy, and was sent to death row on November 20, 2006. Stretch and strapped in the gurney, he said his last words speaking to his wife's daughter, son, and mother. I would like to say sorry for your grief. I hope what I'm doing today will give you peace, joy, closure, whatever it takes to forgive. I am sorry. I know you cannot forgive me, but I hope one day you will. I want to see the Lord Jesus so bad. John Stephen Gardner was 64 years old and spent more than 13 on death row. He received a lethal injection of pentobarbital on January 15, 2020, in Huntsville. He was pronounced dead at 6.36 p.m., 16 minutes after the drug began to enter his body. Gardner was the first death row inmate executed in the United States this year. And that's all for today. If you liked, please share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell, so you can be notified of new uploads. See you next video.